Welcome to English practice every day. This is the most important lesson on this channel so far. In this summary lesson, we will examine what we have learned so far. On this channel, I assume you know English. This channel just teaches you how to speak fluently. Let's start with a basic question. Why do we speak? We speak because we have something to communicate an idea, a thought, an opinion, a feeling, or an information. I call them building blocks of speech. These building blocks are represented in language form by simple phrases. For example, an idea. Red color represents hot temperature. Hot temperature is a simple phrase. A thought. Red color signifies brightness. Signifies brightness is a simple phrase. An opinion. Red color is my least favorite. My least favorite is a simple phrase. A feeling. Red color makes me feel warmth inside me. Feel warmth inside is a simple phrase. An information. Red color is one of the basic colors in nature. Basic colors in nature is a simple phrase. As I said, words in brackets are simple phrases, which are essential to create these simple sentences. We have already practiced a lot of simple phrases in our earlier practice sessions. If you can create such simple phrases in your mind, congratulations. You have successfully taken one step towards becoming fluent in English. Earlier example sentences about red color also proves my next point that simple phrases help us create simple sentences. Simple phrases don't convey any meaning on their own. They need a context. And this context is created by putting these simple phrases in simple sentences. So the next step after mastering simple phrases is to put them in a grammatically accurate sentence structure to convey meaning in a particular context. We have already practiced this in our earlier practice sessions. We can speak fluently only when we can build a grammatically correct sentence in our mind out of the above mentioned building blocks and can put them in the form of simple phrases. And for our mind to be able to do that, it needs a lot of practice. Hence I keep repeating that you must practice a lot with patience and discipline so your mind will learn to think in English. So in our journey of English fluency so far, we have learned that first comes building blocks, ideas, opinions, feelings, information, etc. Then comes simple phrases to represent those building blocks. Then comes simple sentence structures to create context for those simple phrases. Then comes practicing grammatically correct sentence structures to make your speech sound more fluent. And finally comes speaking in rhythm, meaning speaking with stressed and unstressed syllables like a native speaker. Rhythm is like a song. Even if you forget the lyrics, just by humming the tune, you can recall the accurate lyrics of the song. Same goes for the English language. If you are speaking in rhythm, even if you speak grammatically wrong English, you will immediately notice it and correct yourself. Of course, you can speak English without rhythm like your native language in a flat rhythm, but that will create hesitation, stuttering and grammatically wrong sentences. So speaking in rhythm is important for accurate language. This entire process is what fluency is all about. Putting your mind through all this process with continuous practice is the only way you can learn to speak fluent English. This is the only way your mind will gradually learn to think in English. And when thinking in English happens, speaking becomes easy. This is the summary of what we have learned and practiced so far on this channel. In our upcoming videos, we will practice simple phrases, 
then put them in grammatically correct simple sentences to create context and then practice speaking those sentences in a rhythmic manner like a native speaker. To finish, I would like to remind you of our rules that I urge you to follow. I will pause for a few seconds. Please read them. That's all for this summary lesson. Bye for now.